Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is September 21st, 2015, and today's Monday morning. So looking at the economic calendar first, really just one major number coming out for the CAD, Canadian dollar. Uh, the governor, Maine Bank governor, uh, Paulos, will be speaking tonight at 8.45 South African time. So that should have some bearing on the CAD, uh, as we've seen it getting killed over the past year. Um, so, but looking at the markets right now, let's look at the EURUSD. EURUSD sold off nicely towards uh, really just, you know, the beginning hours or late hours of, uh, of last Friday. Um, we hit 14 and now we're trading back in the middle of this range. 1292 is where we're at. Um, but it comes to show you that, you know, if you played the levels, if you traded the levels and you had some alerts, you could have made some, some decent money over the weekend. Uh, this really is in relationship with the Dow uh, selling off last Friday, the FOMC coming out with uh, some more tentative news, some more uh, cautious news, I would say, uh, relative to what's going on in China. So everything's related today. You know, All the markets are related, the currencies, the indices, and the commodities are very much interrelated. So you have to take that into consideration. Uh, so we're at this middle of the range right here. Um, I don't see that we're going to go you know, major move today in the euro USD. Uh, but it's just good to know where we're standing vis-a-vis -vis where we've been. Looking at the Dow Jones, though, let's start out with the Dow. Dow sold off big time, uh, rallied all the way to about 16,900 on Thursday, right before the FOMC move, and then <laughs> tank right down to 16,300. I mean, we, we, we sold off minus 45 points, I believe, on Thursday. And then on Friday, another 200 and something points. So we're, we're settling down here at 16,294 right now, just shy of 16,300. Now, I don't like this because we're still doggone it in the middle of the move, uh, very much like the EURUSD. Uh, to say that we have a support line at 16,221, there is a little bit of a support line there. Um, because we've tested it a couple of times, definitely at 16,000 we've tested it. Um, so, you know, I, you'd have to really be very cautious. It's a Monday morning. Things could really sell off into, you know, 16,000 right back, you know, to continue to sell off. I, you know, you'd have to really be open to all your possibilities. Um, or we could just cover the shorts of yesterday. But there should be some volatility at the open today that comes out about, uh, 3 o'clock South African time, uh, and then you're able to see more things. Um, so that's in terms of the Dow. Looking at the DAX, though, DAX is selling off below 10,000, which is a major threshold for the DAX. Um, and again, we're also at the bottom of this, of, this, of this move. Going into October, October historically is a very bearish month. Um, so I question whether or not we'll you know, try to see a further decline here. Um, it could it could very well be that we will. I mean, this is you know this has been a very nice rally on the way up, and now we're somewhere in the middle. I, I, I'm less inclined to think we're going to sell off to the 7,000, 8,000 level, uh, and I I just don't think the capitulation of what's going on in China is having that much of an effect in the rest of the markets. It could be other things that are going on internationally, uh, but not specifically uh, related to China. Um, looking at Oil right now is at $45 a barrel, also in the middle of its extremes between $38.95 and $49.25. So uh, we're hovering somewhere in, the, in between it towards the end of last week. We rallied to $47.5. Um, but again, we're still in the middle of this range. So, you know, something has to break out either on the bottom side or on the upside or show some sort of strength for it to carry up higher in order for it to really follow through. Um, looking at gold, gold rallied last week with the negative news. Uh, obviously, with the markets, people tend to buy gold in these type of situations, and it rallied to 1138, um, shy of 1171. Uh, so we're at this threshold right here. This might be a good move to actually short it. Um, that's uh, three bars. Yeah, it might be a good move right here to short the gold, and you know, just a little bit, just to test it out and see how it's going to go further on. Looking at the Aussie dollar, again, we're almost close to our bottoms here. Uh, this is on a weekly chart. We've bounced a little bit, but not really something significant. 
Let's look at the USD CAD just quickly uh, for any sort of play today. It was the USD CAD, which is coming out with news at 8:45 South African time. As you can see, we're close to our dead highs. We've, you know, found this kind of threshold up here, um, you know, with a um, support level at 131.6 ish level ish, uh, 139, 131.9 ish. Um, you know, if it does hold this line, okay, we may see it go higher. I mean, historically, it's even been higher, so. You know, there's no reason for it not to go higher. Um, you know, we had this previous threshold before that we held as a uh, resistance level, and we broke it, you know, quite sharply. Uh, but as you can see, the bars are getting smaller, um, and the wicks are getting larger. So, you know, just to, that means that there's a lot of volatility here, and we may be due to a correction, which I'd be more inclined to think there'd be some sort of correction between 131 and 124. Uh, so I take that into consideration today into today's trading week. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading, and I want to wish you guys a great trading week. Thank you.